Join me on my journey through Bryce Canyon National Park. The beauty of coming to Bryce Canyon on the off season is you just pull right on up to the top, right to the entrance. No lines, no waiting. Hi. Hey, how you doing today? I got a National Parks Pass. Yay, that's a pretty good deal. I love it. Hmm. How much is that saving me today? Love it. Same thirty dollars. Okay, did you need a map? Um, yeah, I definitely need okay. a map. There you go. Visitor centers right over there. Yes, ma'am. You have a wonderful day. You too. As you heard, we saved thirty dollars by buying the uh, National Parks Pass. What's nice about the National Parks Pass is that you can go to any of the national parks, national forests, uh, anywhere in the United States for an entire year for 80 bucks. Just this trip would have been 30 alone. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was over at the Grand Canyon. That saved me another 30, so I've almost paid for my pass in just two parks. guys want you to see the uh, we're putting ice cleats on um, the reason being is we need to make sure that we have enough safe way to get down this uh, horse trail that we're technically not supposed to be on but it's not it's winter but we haven't got the snow that you normally get um, so we don't have a lot of patchy spots but we do have a, enough to to make us fall down so it's a good idea to put these on this thing is so beautiful. You don't want to stop walking. I'm dreading the white walk back. This whole thing has been completely downhill with ice, snow, mud. It's all of it, everything. But I can't stop walking because of the beauty. It's absolutely amazing. The only way to see a national park. We are literally have Bryce Canyon to ourselves. We're on some horse trail. Technically, we're not even supposed to be on it, but since it's off season, we figure it's perfectly safe. We haven't seen another person on this trail. We've been on it for over an hour and a half. It gives you a totally new perspective of seeing our great national parks when you have it all to yourself. Unlike Disneyland, when it's in the summertime, there's millions of people from all over the world. You can't enjoy the nature to yourself. This is the way to do it. Come in the off season. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, there might be ice, might be mud, but you're out here enjoying the elements. Trekking uphill now. It's a heck of a climb. But the beauty, again, is absolutely amazing. So. Just check this out, guys. Every turn is just magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Tell us a little bit about the hoodoos. I've, I've always been fascinated with them. Yeah, so it's all limestone. Uh, each layer with little layers of sandstone and mudstone in between. So those are weaker layers. So that's why you see when you look over down at the hoodoo, why there's like a layer that looks like it's just been eroded right into it. Yeah. yeah. Where you can see kind of there's that line running in. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where that's been eroded away. So this is the Claron formation that we're looking at. So this 
limestone was formed in Lake Claron about 60 to 40 million years ago. Wow. And so that lake was at sea level and it was a shallow lake. It was about 15 feet deep, which yeah. is like crazy shallow for a lake. Uh -huh. So it was just during that time, it was really susceptible to different climate change. So you get different uh, environments, which you can see in the rock layers. So there's right. two members of the Claron formation. There's the pink member, which was formed at a time when the lake was really iron rich. Oh, okay. So that's why it's that pink color. It's that iron oxidizing in the rock. So you can think of a rusty nail. And we have our, our white layer, which is a time when there was no iron in that lake. And then on the top you can of our hoodoos, you can see there's like these beige uh -huh. color rock. And that's a special type of limestone called dolostone. So dolostone is different because it has cal or magnesium in it instead of calcium. Oh, okay. And that magnesium makes it more resistant to erosion. So it's a stronger rock. And we call those our hoodoo helmets. Oh. Because <laughs> they protect our, yeah, cool. they protect hoodoos. our hoodoos. Yeah. So, um, during uh, our monsoon season in August yeah. and September, we just get huge torrential downpours of rain. You probably can't even hike out here when it starts nope. raining. Yeah. Huh? It's just too dangerous. Yep. I imagine they have like lots of slides as well, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's, sure. it's always changing. I mean, this is still pretty brittle, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, yep. it's almost like a sand, right? It's not. Yeah. It's, it's, oh yeah. It's oh, very, yeah. uh, this gets, gets, very gets loose. Wet. Yeah. Very It'll loose. Come down. Yeah. Our, our maintenance crews stay busy Constant. yeah they stay yeah, busy i'm sure yeah, yeah but yeah they say when it pours get indoors <laughs> <laughs> a safety tip from our ranger here yep. ranger, emily. ranger emily when it pours get what, indoors what we're gonna do about meals. whoa tomorrow is next day planning <laughs> you know i don't plan that I far know, in right. advance oh my god you don't do that we are okay definitely... hang on we're, we got to find a place to stay then oh we did i thought we were gonna go check it out well if we're gonna save money we're gonna go check out some cheap hotels yeah, that's what I was going to look at, which ones we were going to check out. Oh, okay, go ahead. Booking.com, go ahead. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay. And Give us so a we, couple to look at. So we can go back to the Bryce Canyon Resort. Remember that we said looks yeah, that decent looks from cool. the outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, How I much mean, was that in it? There's Ruby Zen, but that's for $30 more no. total. No, I don't want to not pay that. Not a night. Yeah, I'm not paying that. Um... There's Bryce Canyon Pines. <clears throat> all I care about is it being clean. I'm not about the fancy. I want to be able to do trips all the time. Okay, not... so let's go ask him if we can see a room then. That's us do it. That's what I'm saying. We just go over there yeah. like we did last night. I mean, yeah. that guy let us look at the room. Heck, you know. You're yeah, not... I think he took a little bit of the... He took offense to it, but you know what? Well, no, I don't the necessarily think is... offense, but he, he took some coaxing or like some... Right. Like, well, the thing is, is keep in mind, it's uh, it's a thirty nine dollars including tax room a night. You know, I want to know that it's clean. Exactly. You know, Same. I mean, absolutely. I don't care that it's an old motel. All I care about is it's clean. <laughs> I want to show you what you get in off season at Bryce Canyon if you go a little out of the way to Penguage. It's a little town inside Utah, just about 17 miles outside the park. It's an older motel, but have your check this out. It's a modern looking older building with lots of little character, nice cushy bed. You can't beat it. Look at the shower. I mean, they've done a really good job for an older, ho older hotel. I quite think it's quite amazing for the money. You know, I am sure that uh, I will definitely put their uh, website on the link below. So guys, I'm here at Penguage. It's a little tiny town outside of Bryce Canyon National Park. It's got lots of character to it. Um, it's obviously the off season, so almost everything's closed. But the cool thing is, you can get a hotel really inexpensive here and do this journey relatively cheap. You can fly into Salt Lake City, rent a car. I rented a car for uh, $71 for four days. I don't need it for the four days, but at least I have it. 
Um, you can also fly into uh, Las Vegas and you can always get trips to uh, Vegas really cheap and take full advantage of uh, the close parks that are uh, near Vegas, whether it's Zion National Park or Bryce Canyon National Park. So don't forget to get out there and enjoy life. Travel more and start living. This is why you always get a rental car. You never use your own vehicle. I got a rental car for $71 for uh, four days. Get it off of Priceline. Obviously you want to do this in cognito mode because if you start researching early, it will uh, start raising your prices. Holy shit, are you sure we should drive through that? Hell yeah, we gotta do it. It's, it's about a mud bog, but this is really a mud bog Nissan. Oh shit, that might not be a good idea. Yeah, this might not be a good idea. <laughs> well, hell with it. That's why we got a rental car. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe we should have got a Jeep. Do you want to be digging this out? We're not going to dig it out. But we're going to we're going to mud bog through this. Bring me back to my roots when I was a kid driving my Volkswagen Bug down the dirt roads on the way to school every morning. <clears throat> But this is what makes it a real adventure. Mud bogging in a Nissan Bursa. That keeps locking me in here. Hang on, we gotta show you. Let's see what the outside. The little mud bogging Nissan Bursa. As you can tell, it's slick as snot. But it's doing good. Our little Enterprise rental car has done good. Get some of this mud off this windshield. Yeah, because with the sun reflecting yeah, on right. it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna mud bog through this real quick and hope we make it. Yeah, it's it's gonna make it. Oh my god. Yeah, this is mud bogging Bursa. So we're going to give everybody a pro tip when coming to the uh, Bryce Canyon. The uh, one thing I would suggest is stopping in the small town outside of Bryce Canyon called uh, Penguage. It's a little bit of a small town, but they have a grocery store there. The prices are pretty close to normal. If you wait until you get to the Bryce Canyon city, the uh, grocery store that's inside Ruby's Inn is outrageous I mean I was looking at the thing of crystal light was like seven dollars so um, you obviously want to try to save as much money as possible you know get to a grocery store before you come to this town um, of Canyon City because once you get out here you're in a desolate wasteland there's nothing here it, that's it it's just a tourist place that's it at that point hey guys wanted to thank you for coming along on my journey with me to Bryce Canyon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, also subscribe to my channel, help me build my brand, and I will uh, be taking you around to other parts around the country and the world, uh, hopefully in the future. Thank you, and uh, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.